The impersonal use of doke is the topic of the brief section 149 in Hansen and Quinn's Greek, an intensive course, will you f where you will find it on page 567. You were introduced to the verb dokeo in unit 17, and you got five principal parts, dokeo, doxo, adoxa, dedogmai, and adokthane, and you learned that it means seem or think. But in the third person singular, doke, it can mean, and often does, it seems best, and it takes a dative of the person or persons to whom something seems best. So this is an important translation that you need to be aware of when you see constructions as in the examples I'm about to give you. For instance, doke moi tuta poyen. It seems best, doke, to me, moi, to do this, tuta poyen. So you can see the basic structure there. Doke and a dative for whom it seems best and an infinitive to complete the meaning. Or you could think of it the way Hansen and Quinn talks about it where that infinitive is the subject of that third person verb. I like to think of it more impersonally and the way that we just learned that day and cray work. Another longer example, adoxa tois athenaios angelus Pros basileia pempsi. It seemed best, edoxa, to the Athenians, there they are in the dative, to send pempsi messengers to the king. So it seemed best, um, and what seemed best? To send messengers to the king. You'll also see the formula, edoxa te boule kai to demo to mean it seemed best to the council and the people, which is a way of saying the council and the people decided. So that's a formulaic beginning of laws and decrees. Sometimes what you get with doke or edoxa is not an infinitive, but a pronoun. And so you'll see very often tauta moi doke or something like that, which means these things seemed best to me. So now you know an important possibility to consider when you see the third person singular of dokeo, and I hope you'll enjoy finding it in Greek, in the wild, and in Hansen and Quinn.